Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm tropical welcome to you all to Travel Blog Jamie. I'm about to spend five nights at Cabana Bay Beach Resort Universal Orlando and you are coming with me for a tour of this resort plus a look at my room. Are you ready for this? I know I am. Let's go. <laughs> After a nine hour flight from the UK to Orlando International and a short Uber ride of about 20 minutes costing $40, I arrived at Universal's Cabana Bay. Cabana Bay is one of Universal's value resorts. This is a retro themed resort offering 2,200 guest rooms and suites. Universal Orlando is a huge resort. There are two theme parks, one water theme park, eight resort hotels, multiple restaurants, eateries, cafes and bars. The great news is that you can access most of these attractions and resort areas on foot or by the complimentary motorcoach transportation or the complimentary water taxis. Complimentary motorcoach transportation is available from Cabana Bay to the two theme parks if you prefer to get your steps up, the walk to the two main theme parks is between 15 to 20 minutes. And finally, access to Volcano Bay, the water theme park, couldn't be easier. There's a direct walkway taking just minutes. And let's do this. The lobby is always a good place to start. Big, bright and airy, just like me. Lots of natural light here as well, I like that the concierge desk and check-in, which goes on and on and on. Look at that. Wouldn't want to be lined up back here though. The retro theme definitely smacks you in the face the moment you come into the lobby area. Okay, so the Swizzle Lounge is just off the main lobby, but let's head back later this evening to see what's going on. It's all happening in the Swizzle Lounge. Oh, go on. I thought I'd try an espresso martini from the Swizzle Lounge. Oh yeah, we got live music. And a quick peep at some of the cocktails on offer at the Swizzle Lounge. Honestly, I didn't think the prices were too bad. If you choose to have these to go, they'll be served in a plastic cup, much like the one I had. Exiting the lobby to the east, you'll find the Atomic Courtyard. This is one of two lagoon-sized pools at Cabana Bay. To access the pools on site, you'll need to zap in using your resort key. This 10,000 square foot pool in the Atomic Courtyard features a zero entry pool, a sand beach, iconic dive tower water feature, a 100 foot water slide and plenty of poolside activities such as hula hoop contests, dive in movies, ping pong, pool tables and much more. Resort guests can even rent poolside cabanas on a daily basis. Each is equipped with a HD TV, Wi-Fi access, phone, mini refrigerator with bottled waters, safe and lounge chairs. The very funky Atomic Tonic bar and grill. There's also a drink station here for your refillable mugs. There are over a hundred sodas to choose from from these machines or just stay hydrated with some water. Here's a look at the bar and food service operating hours, not to mention a quick peep at those all important food and drink menu items. And a look at the drinks menu. You'll notice here that the cocktails are first served in a souvenir cup for the prices indicated. Subsequent refills are then cheaper. Why not? I would say that for a value resort, the range of items here is surprisingly good. Don't you worry, I've got you covered for your beers and wines as well. Love, love, love that there are fire pits dotted around this resort as well. And back into the lobby. Yep, there's still a lot more to see here. 
And of course, no resort would be complete without the obligatory gift shop. Let's go spend some money. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Oh, we made it. Oops, sorry, wrong brand. Take the staircase, take the staircase, take the staircase. Game-o-rama. Mmm, that's my kind of word. Yep, they've even got a bowling alley here, complete with grill and bar. You can hire a lane here starting at 45 minutes. It's $11 for children nine and under, everyone else $17. Dining is available here and here's a look at that menu. You'll notice some dishes have gluten-free options and vegan options. To meet other dietary requirements, just have a look at the Galaxy Bowl website where you'll find all that information. Uh-oh, we got a gymnasium. Ha, <laughs> look, they call it a physical fitness studio. It's a gymnasium. I am sure they're all having an awesome time in there. Look at the size of that. Listen up, my darlings. At the bottom of that staircase lies a Starbucks. Oof, the noise does carry here, doesn't it? Time to cool off and recharge, quite literally. And well done for getting my name right. Close. Here's the main dining event, the Bayliner Diner, and try saying that after a few cocktails. Duly noted. Alrighty, we are going in, folks. Now then, in the Bayliner Diner, there are multiple food stations. Now then, if you're staying more than one day, I absolutely recommend you buy a refillable souvenir cup. We'll have access to over a hundred sodas, plus hot drinks, and of course, your water. Ooh, it's designed for me. I think I'll go with this one. Just in case you were wondering what those fire pits are for. Alrighty, we're gonna stop off at each food station and I'm gonna show you the lunch and dinner menus. Taste of the world for your international eats. We've got pizza, of course we have. And my first meal is a crispy chicken Alfredo. Go me. I've got my refill, I've got my deliciosa, I'm on my bed, I've got the TV on, chill. Let's check this one out. 
Oh, thank you very much, Bayliner Diner. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, they are so good. <laughs> salad, anybody? Actually, this salad bar is replaced by a fruit salad bar in the mornings. Now that is a very cool idea. Oh, cool, get it? Okay. Now this is vast. Absolutely no problems getting a seat here. I feel like Celine Dion here in the round. I think I counted four areas here with condiments. I love that word, condiments. And of course your drinks, fountains and hot drinks. And just tucked around the corner. Now these sound gorgeous. Now then, of course, I haven't yet grown up, so I can't have these. What a damn shame. And right next to the shake shop, an ATM. Alrighty, time to head out to the other pool area. Great idea to have this accessible pathway from the second floor. No need to bring your own towels as they're provided poolside. And welcome to the Lazy River Courtyard and Pool. Oh, easily distracted I know, here's the hideaway bar and grill. What an awesome setup. Love it. Cheers to the hideaway bar. Have a look at this cocktail menu. It's awesome. I've got a fun in the sun. It's delish. The big question is how do you like yours? On the rocks? Or are you team frozen when your heart's not open? Also, your first cocktail is served in this souvenir mug and then all your refills are $12. It would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Mm, that is so, so good. Totally tropical. And the grill just separate from the bar. And how's this for good value? Yep, your own lazy river at the resort. You can bring your own tubes or you can purchase one here 
at the tube shack. The two pools on site have zero entry access and the lazy river a hoist. Let's do this. Make no mistake, folks, this is a vast resort. I checked in over here. Look at all this, there's loads of it. And my room is miles away. It's all the way through here in the Bayside Tower. That's great because it's one of the newer parts of the resort. And also, can you see, it's right next to the entrance to Volcano Bay. So whilst it's a bit of a walk to get back to reception with uh, the diner and Starbucks, etc., it's very convenient for Volcano Bay. Okay, folks, come in and have a look around my standard queen room. It's 7209. Seven denotes the block, so base side. And two is the floor, floor two. Nine is the room number. This is your resort key. Now, obviously, this is used to access your room. But in addition, you'll need to show this for early access to the parks. If you would rather not pay as you go, you can also link your account to this key card. First up, as you come in for extra security and privacy, you've got these locks. Uh, you can operate some of the lights from the entrance as well. Now look at how big this room is. I can't believe how greedy I am. I've got it all to myself. Uh, we'll have a look at the bathroom and the storage space a little later. For now, I wanted to share with you the bedroom area. Um, yes, you are absolutely getting 50s and 60s vibes. I'm sure most of you were around then, weren't you? No, I wasn't around then. We are talking retro arama all the way. I love the splashes of color here. I really do. And I know this wouldn't be for everyone, but I think it's such a lot of fun. And you know, for a budget resort, I appreciate these extra touches to bring things to life a little bit. So thank you very much, Universal. Okay, so we've got two beds. They are super, super comfy, by the way. There's a unit in between the beds with a great size shelf and, oh, the Holy Bible, thank you, Jesus. Plus my comfies, which is equally as important. Um, I'll talk about socket situation a little bit later. Um, you can see there are four lamps here. Now, there are two two light bulbs in each lamp, as you can see. So you can have an up light or a down light, whichever you prefer. How super clever is that? There's no storage space under the beds. I mean, what is this, a cruise ship? No, of course it isn't. Um, but there should be plenty of space in the wardrobe. Uh, opposite the beds, you've got a decent sized television, a fabulous unit. I mean, I want this at home, to be honest with you. Um, down here, we have our refrigerator and it's a jolly good size, as you can see. And next to the fridge, we've got four very good size deep drawers. I'm talking about good size deep drawers, oh my goodness me. Uh, plenty of storage space there for your clothes. Loads of space around the television. And one of my all time nightmares, uh, when I travel solo is having a coffee machine. Now, Matthew normally makes the coffee in our marriage, not me. So I'm gonna have to learn how to do this. Thankfully, there are instructions on the top. Fill water tank with cold water. I can do that. Place cup or mug on unit base. Okay, I think I'm gonna be all right. Um, I've already sent a picture to Matthew saying, what is this and how do I use it? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We have a trash can here. I'm allowed to say trash can, even though I'm from the UK, because I'm in America. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got a, a bucket here for ice. I presume there's a vending machine somewhere nearby. Fabulous retro table, two chairs, and a lamp up here. I don't know how to actually switch it on at the moment. I've been fumbling around the whole thing, the walls, trying to find something, and I can't. Look at the size of these windows. 
Uh, I haven't even pulled the curtains fully open yet. Um, we're talking tropical vibes out here. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. You can actually just about make out Volcano Bay and it's a volcano. Can you see that? Can you just make it out on the right hand side? Yes, you can see it. I mean, that's kind of cool for a standard room that's not supposed to have any kind of view apart from foliage. I'm happy. Back over to this unit because we have the delight that is Delizioso Pizza to go. Uh, In-room pizza delivery. Now, I've had pizza here before and it's bloody lovely. Uh, so I might be partaking in this a little bit later. You can also scan this QR code to book a reservation at Galaxy Bowl, which is the bowling alley. And another QR code here if you want to have a look at the menu for Shake's Malt Shop. I mean, who wouldn't want to look at that? Now then, if there's a large group of you staying and you want adjacent rooms, well, this is a lock-off door. Uh, don't you worry, I've got it firmly, tightly locked because I ain't going anywhere near those people next to me. Um, AC unit, it's on Arctic conditions right now and working beautifully. Okay, let's have a look at the room from this angle because angles are everything, my darlings. I think it is such a fun, quirky, large, clean, comfy room. I'm a happy man. Okay, let's head into the bathroom area. I am a big fan of this bathroom, not only because it's a good size, but I love these blues. I'm gonna call that tugboat blue. A uh, fabulous retro feel to this bathroom. Look at that mirror, it's fantastic. Uh, lots of space around the um, sink basin. We have a hairdryer here. It's one of those plastic aroma ones. I'm not testing it on myself for you this time around. I, I feel like this is gonna send me to hospital. Um, let's just see how powerful it is. Oh, I mean, that's screaming power, isn't it? So look, if you don't wanna bring your own hairdryer, there's one here for you. And we have two drawers here, plus a large shelf underneath the whole sink basin and unit. So very happy with this, but look in here. Oh, one cheek, two cheek, rah, rah, rah. Oh, one cheek, two cheek, rah, rah, rah. Oh, one cheek, two cheek, rah, rah, rah. Oh, one cheek, two cheek, rah, 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 rah. I wonder what song that's based on. We might find out this week. Look, we've got a near floor to ceiling mirror on this door and this shower. Oh, I'm in heaven. I think you could get four puppies in there at the same time. Loving the tiles, I really am. And look at these products, not these, these are mine, but the ones that come with the room. V05 shampoo. Oh my God, I'm so using the VO5. Look, creme rinse. I love the word rinse. It's my favorite word at the moment. Um, these are my products down here. As you know, I love my hair, food, banana and coconut shampoo. And I'm absolutely addicted to rice milk and cherry blossom, a ritual of Sakura uh, body wash. Gosh, that's a mouthful, isn't it? And a look at the wardrobe area. This is the only part of the room that I think is a bit of a letdown. I think it's quite small actually, especially as this room ordinarily will sleep up to four. So here's your wardrobe area. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I mean, it's not bad, is it? But it's just me on my own and I've already taken up all these hangers. Um, we've got more hanging space here, but no hangers. Uh, I wonder if you can get some from reception if you need more. We do have an ironing board and iron, which is mucho apreciado. And there are extra pillows and a blanket up here and this very good sized shelf, but that's taken up most of the room, most of the space. And in terms of where you're gonna store your luggage, I'm assuming it's down here, but look, I've got a tiny case and it's just me. So I imagine you might want to be storing your luggage just inside the main entrance to the room over here. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Ah, oh, it's like Universal read my mind. I didn't even notice this. Uh, if you need more hangers, extra shampoo or whatever it may be, you just need to text that number and I imagine they have definitely got you covered. Also, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I did that on purpose, that's naughty. There is uh, an in-room safe here. It's uh, free to use, although you might argue you've paid for it in your overnight stay. You can have laundry done here as well. Now then, if your laundry is collected by 9 a.m., it will be returned the same day after 6 p.m. So not bad at all. Uh, what do you think of the prices? I've said many times before in my vlogs, I don't actually use uh, resort laundry services as a rule. So I'm not overly familiar with general costs. Someone drop their comments below and tell me what you think. I mean, I don't want my laundry doing, but I want that bag. I want to take that bag home with me. Good to know as well that the housekeeping team will be servicing your room between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. each day of your stay. Obviously, there are some major benefits of staying at a Universal Hotel. First of all, you get early access to the parks and hours early access ahead of the general public. If you're staying in a deluxe resort on site, this one isn't, uh, you'll receive express passes for the duration of your stay and they ain't cheap if you were buying them on a day-to-day -day basis. There's also complimentary transportation to and from the parks from your resorts, whether that's motor coach or water taxi, choice is yours. You can also walk. But what do you think about this standard room? Could you imagine yourself staying in 50s and 60s Arama accommodation? I mean, I'm loving it already. <laughs> So as you come into the Bayside Tower, as you can see, you've got, well, I suppose it's like a small lobby area. You've got your elevators there. We've got a retro feel running through and we've got some vending machines here. Oh, look, there's even a laundry room you can use. Fabulous. Instructions up there, don't you worry. And there is my Bayside Tower. This pathway, by the way, will take you to the entrance to Volcano Bay. It's the resort guest entrance. And as I said earlier, you'll need your room key to access that entrance. So Volcano Bay park hours today, 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. However, if you are staying on Universal property, you get early access half an hour before opening to the public. So I'm heading in my secret entrance woo, <laughs> at half nine. Secret baby. Yep, early parking, make sure I play, guys. We're staying in a hotel. Have a good introduction. To the left. Do hotel guests take advantage of early entry? Uh, yes. Here we go. It's a beast, isn't it? And look at that drop slide. Crazy. Woo, it's so big. Well, as far as a value resort goes, I think Cabana Bay has so much going for it. It's unashamedly big, brash, bright, bold, and a lot of fun. I'm a big fan of the two lagoon-sized pools and Lazy River. The rooms, well, they're not subtle, but they're great sizes. And who doesn't love a shower for three? Whilst there are no table service restaurants here, I felt the range of food was actually quite good. Portion sizes were very good and prices quite competitive for a theme park hotel. Side note, the pizza is excellent here. There's no denying that for a value resort, there are plenty of facilities here to suit the whole family. The three bars on site offer a very good range of beverages, and I was a big fan of some of the cocktails here. And finally, you cannot escape the convenience of this resort. It's so easy to access the two theme parks and water park. I have a feeling we'll be back. Thank you for your continued support as we head towards 29,000 subscribers. It's crazy! Today's shout outs go to my tiers 3, 4, and 5 patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. You'll have access to my patron only feed, patron only lives, behind the scenes vlogs, personalized video messages, postcards, VIP, and one to one Zoom calls and also a patron-only meet and greet in Southampton. Thanks for watching and don't forget we can follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, X Threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie, and of course, right here, right now on YouTube.